Welcome to another Wonder Build tutorial. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to manage your contacts and suppliers. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll need to do is navigate to the menu to the left, in which you will expand when you hover over it with your mouse. Scroll down to contacts, click on that, and you'll see three different fields populate. So client, supplier, and import contacts. Let's start off with client. And you'll see here in the main screen, name, email, phone number, address, and phase. These are contacts that have been previously uploaded to the system already. And you'll notice with the phase area, this is something we'll cover off in another video, which is a great way to manage the life cycle of your, uh, your clients or customers. Let's go ahead and create new. You'll see here all the fields that are required to create a new contact. So let's just create a sample here. Phase. Let's go ahead and just have a look at those. So lead, prospect, customer, primary phone number. Might put in something like one Smith Street in Parramatta as an example, New South Wales. And you can see here that these fields have auto populated and go ahead and click, click create. There we have it. You've got John Smith and there's John's details. Now we'll look at creating a new supplier. So once again, let's hover over that menu to the left, go down to supplier and click on that. And you can see here a list of previously entered supplies or current supplies that are in the system or database in Wonderbuild system. And you've got here, of course, name, email, a phone number and location. Let's go down to create new. And similarly, the business name, contact person, and categories. So they're there, which is, of course, is different to what you see with a client uh, fields. Let's quickly just enter that in for a second. And now categories are really interesting. So these categories will populate over time. So you go ahead and create your own category. So this would be a plumbing supplier. Let's go ahead and create plumbing. So now you see that this is essentially what's called a tag. So you can... You'll see this when you manage your suppliers, but these tags are really handy to keep your suppliers organized by category. Email. And go ahead and click create. Up next, let's look at how to import or bulk import a list of clients or suppliers. Let's go ahead and hover over the menu to the left and go to import contacts, so click on that. And you'll see here that you can import a CSV, XLXX, or of course an XLS file. And this is really handy if you are migrating from another system or that um, you may very well may have been running your entire business on a spreadsheet and you wanna quickly bulk upload your existing list of suppliers clients and leads as well or what have you so let's go ahead and do that so there's two ways you can do it one of which you can click on this here to open up a file explorer or you can simply drag and drop so in this example i'm going to upload a supplier list so let's drag that in what we need to do now is of course tell one to build what type of list that is so whether it's contact or suppliers so make sure you do this step and that way it will change the fields. Now, you'll see here that in the actual file itself, you'll see business name, contact person, category name, email, and etc. These are the fields that are currently in your list that you need to match up with or map to the existing fields in Wonderbuild. So let's have a look at that spreadsheet. So just looking at this spreadsheet here that we've chosen to upload, we've got business name, contact person, category name, email, and primary phone number as an example. The first two columns look good. So business name, look on the right side, contact person, and category name under the actual map data. Now, Wonderbuild refers to category name as something different. So what we need to do is go ahead and click on that drop down and match up category name to what Wonderbuild refers to as category ID.
Now that's been matched up. Let's quickly just do the other fields. So business name was correct. Contact person was correct. So again, files in the field, the spreadsheet that we've just uploading or importing. And the fields are one to build, just matching the two together. So that's what's called mapping. So let's go ahead and finish the rest off. Once that's done, you'll scroll down, click on the import button, and that is it. You have now successfully imported the sheets. Now, on the top right corner, you look at here, it says import supplies. Zero supplies have been imported. 10 duplicates detected. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you this is that you may very well upload many spreadsheets or contacts as your business grows, and sometimes you might accidentally duplicate uh, each of the supplies or contacts. Wonderbuild has the intelligence built in to ensure that it will not import any contacts that is a duplicate for you, which makes your workflow seamless. In this next section, we'll be taking you through how to manage your suppliers as well as your contacts. Now you can see here in this view, we have the list of suppliers as you can see in the top left corner. What we need to do is go ahead and either click on the screen to select a supplier or search. Now you can go ahead and start typing a word in and it will bring up a plumber. So just type in any word. And from there, you can click on that to access the profile. On the left side, you've got your details of the supplier. And now on the right side, you've also got your purchase orders, which will have this on another tutorial, which is your purchase orders that are linked to your supplier. Now, just to reference the details of the supplier, the actual profile, so you've got the actual name of the supplier or the business name, contact name, now the category as per what we went through previously that we created earlier, the address of the supplier, email address, of course, the phone number. Bottom right side, we have certifications. And what you can do here is you can create a new certification. Very handy, of course, if you'd like to manage your supplier's uh, compliance and status, if you will. And you can do that through Wonderbuild directly. Let's go ahead and click on Add Certification. And that will take you through to the section of creating a new certification. And of course, the type, this will be different options, certificate, license, qualification, or others. Let's go ahead and just keep it on certificate. Last but not least, of course, is to drag and drop the file or click to expand the file explorer. Let's go ahead and just drag in the certificate. It's now uploaded and we can go ahead and either delete it or upload more documents or create once you're finished. And there we have it. So you can see here, you can see the certif certification in the profile now. And you can see the expiry date. And of course, you can now edit this and by deleting it and of course, re-adding a, a new certification. Moving on to managing your clients. Of course, go over to the left bar, click on clients. It will bring up the list of clients that are in the system. Again, two things, you can go ahead and either search for a client or you can go ahead and click on a client to go into their profile directly. So in this example, let's go ahead and click on Jane Smith. You can see here on the left side, the details of the profile. Name, of course the phase. So remember the phases are prospect, lead and customer. So if Jane's been tagged as a customer. On the right side, we have jobs. That's the active jobs. But you can see here, this technically should be a prospect or a lead as there's no jobs associated. Let's go ahead and click on create reminder. And this will bring up a new window to create a, a brand new reminder. Now let's go ahead and look at the date. So 21st of the 9th. And let's set the time as well. You have different options. You can either repeat or you can have the frequencies. Now go ahead and click on create. That concludes how to manage your contacts and clients. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next video.